All right, well, I've got uh, the lights, um, uh, the NeoPixel uh, and wiring for the front lights uh, epoxied in, and um, now I can move on to uh, the next uh, challenge with this kit. Um, I did have to, uh, I, I knew I was going to um, cut out the bottom of the, the um, what is this, the turret? Um, and unfortunately, my, my concern was the, the different shades in plastic turned out to be very problematic. When I would take little nips, it literally split. Uh, the thing was so brittle. And I don't know if that's because of the age of the kit, because I think this was actually made um, back in 2015, 2016, and these are uh, new old stock. I don't think these are recently uh, molded kits, but on both, uh, the plastic was just so brittle, so the cuts really aren't all that attractive. I may go in to clean them up. I may not. I'm just getting very frustrated again with just how just how poor um, the attention to uh, quality and detail. Uh, I mean, this is going together, but not without a lot of... Uh, uh, annoying little problems that uh, I just have not been accustomed to on on, uh, on a Japanese kit. So anyways, um, let's not dwell. We're gonna we're gonna start looking at uh, I guess uh, adding some styrene ears or, or um, uh, you know fingers on the on the base of this uh, to give me something to hook up to the uh, servo. And as far as this portion rotating, um, I may also bring some ears up so that I've got something to not only move it back and forth with, but also to keep it captive in the model. There's not a whole lot of room in here, so I'm going to have to use some very small servos, which fortunately I do have. Um, but I'm not going to be putting in my good linear servos just because the kit is as it is uh, not going to be one of my pride and joys. It's I'm getting it built because it's this far along and uh, uh, I want to move on to other other projects. So anyways, um, let me stop griping. I'll pause and uh, we'll see um, what I've got um, as far as uh, I need to find out. You know, a lot of my time uh, I've noticed since the move has been <laughs> looking for stuff. You know, when I packed, I packed... Uh, oh, there it is. I just found it. My bag of... Uh, scrap styrene. <laughs> Which I couldn't seem to locate because uh, I thought maybe I'd throw it out. I knew that would be stupid, but I have a tub of scrap brass and a bag of scrap styrene and I wanted to make sure I didn't get rid of it and couldn't seem to find this anywhere. And just in my whining this morning, seconds ago, I looked down and <laughs> there it is. So anyways, going to go through the bag, find some pieces that are more suitable thickness and i um, uh, going to see how I can best come up with an approach for attaching servos. So, uh, There'll be another video coming right after this.